you know, to the six, to the five, to the four, to the three, to the two. So I'm just going up higher. Okay? Or... Hey, welcome to another episode of Chord Crush Thursdays. We do this every week where we release a new video teaching you a new chord or a chord progression that will help you to expand your chord vocabulary and hopefully take you to the next level. So if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And if you're loving the content, if you like what you see, help us to grow by simply hitting that like button, all right? So today what we're gonna be focusing in on is a diminished chord walk down. Now in the past, I've been asking you guys what key should I do these videos in? Like every future video, I'm saying, what key? And the last couple of videos, I did it in the key of A. And the response wasn't as much as I thought. Maybe you guys don't play in A that much. Let me know in the comments if you think A is a hard key to play in because I noticed that the activity wasn't as much. But I know for sure a lot of uh, gospel musicians tend to play in the keys like D flat, E flat, A flat, B flat. So for this particular video, we're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna do it in the key of D flat major. Let me know in the comments what you think about the key of D flat major. Some people think it's hard, some people love it. Let me know. But let's first check out this number system of scale, and then we're gonna get into this nice chord walk down going to the two in the key of D flat major. And you can also walk up to it. I'm gonna give you some different options. All right, here we go, the D flat major scale. So D flat is the one, E flat is the two, F is the three, G flat is the four, A flat is the five, B flat is the six, C is the seven, and then we're back at the one D flat. That's our number system and scale for D flat major, okay? So that's what we're gonna use to identify the chords and progressions for what we're getting ready to do. So the goal of where we want to arrive to is the two, and we're in the key of D flat major, and the two is E flat. So typically, um, depending on what you're playing, a lot of times you're gonna find that the two um, can be some type of minor chord. So it could be a regular E flat minor chord, depending on the style. Uh, it could be an E flat minor seven. It could be an E flat minor nine. It could be an E flat minor 11. It all depends on the style of what you're playing, but it's important to understand just the basics of what the minor chord is and how to continue to build and expand it with chord extensions and everything. So the, the type of chord that we're gonna focus on going to is more of an advanced voicing. It's an E flat minor 11 chord. And I'll show you that first. I got E flat, B flat, and D flat in my left hand. And then G flat, A flat, B flat, D flat, and F. And depending on the melody that you want on top, you can hit the A flat too as well, which is a really big, thick voicing for this chord. So what I wanna show you is different ways to get to this particular type of chord. It can even just be an E flat minor nine if you wanna leave out the A flat in the chord. So it's all up to you and how you want the chord to sound. But what I wanna show you is how you can walk down in what we call stepwise motion. And stepwise motion is pretty much using you know, the notes of the scale to get there. So if you know the scale of D flat majors, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, and, and, and D flat. So sometimes when you go into some of these chords in the key, and I'm just using the two as an example, you can walk down the scale and go to certain to tones of the scale, um, depending on the chord that you're going to. So what I'm gonna show you is, you can actually go from the four to the three to the two. And there's a lot of different chord options. I'm gonna show you this diminished um, walk down. A lot of gospel musicians already know this, but I'm aware that some of you guys don't, so that's why I'm doing this video too as well. For those of you who don't know this, but I'm gonna get into some other options too as well. So a lot of times when you go to the four, to the three, to the two, you can use what we call diminished seven chords. And we're gonna use a G flat diminished seven. 
So I got G flat and E flat in the left hand, and then G flat, A, C, and E flat. And this is very common as a walk down in gospel music. So this is a G flat seven. I'm sorry, a G flat diminished seven. Two and F diminished seven. So I have F and D in the left hand, and then A flat, B, D, and F. And this is one of the chords from our top 10 chords that every musician needs to know guide. So if you don't have that, it's a guide where we get into the top 10 chords that every musician should know, especially every gospel musician should know. So click the link in the description, and it's right up here. I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but click that link, and that'll take you to the guide where you can download that for free. But this is one of the chords, the top 10 chords. So we got G flat, E flat in the left hand, G flat, A, C, and E flat, and then that's the four chord, which is the G flat. And then we're gonna go down to the three. I already showed you this too. We got F and D in the left hand. This is another diminished seven, but this is a F diminished seven. So we got F and D in the left hand, and then A flat, B, D, and F in the right. And then that takes us to the, to the two. Okay, so this is a four, three, two chord progression. Now the thing about this is understanding that Okay, that's one way to play it, okay? But you can actually take the voicing and move this chord up. You can move the G flat up here. And now we have a different voicing and sound of the chord. So instead of going from G flat, A, C, and E flat, and really what's happening with the right hand, we're just bringing this chord down a half step, okay? The whole thing is going down a half step. So if we take this idea and move it up higher, with a voicing up higher by just simply taking the lowest note, which is G flat, and putting it up top. This is what we have. We got G flat as the melody, and we got A, C, E flat, and G flat. And we still take that same idea. We're still going from the four to the three, then to the two. So that's another idea, okay? So we got the four to the three to the two, okay? And there's many different ways that you can arrive to the four, to the three, to the two. You can actually go up higher in the scale to the six, to the five, to the four, to the three, to the two. So I'm just going up higher. Okay? Or... So it all depends. A lot of times when I'm thinking of these ideas, I'm thinking about what I would do, you know, just playing in a church service or just, you know, coming up with court ideas or even, you know, producing stuff, you know, like just having these ideas of, of things to get to certain tones can just open up your creativity. But it's all about understanding where you're going. And at this point, we're going to the two. So whenever you go to the two, well, you have different ideas of how to get there. Now it's just a matter of how much time do you got to get there and what context and what situation are you going to use this in. Um, so one of the things that I did was I went minor on a six. I played B flat, A flat, and C in the left hand, and then D flat, F, and C. So this is another way um, when I went from the six. And I just did this lick. B flat, C, D flat, and then I hit the chord. And then I went to this chord. I, it's like playing a B flat major at nine over A flat. Okay? So I went minor on a six. This is like playing a B flat minor nine chord to a B flat at nine over A flat, which is A flat in the left hand, and F, B flat in the left hand, and then C, D, F, and B flat in the right. And then now I'm at the four to the three to the two, okay? So that's with the minor on the six. Now you don't have to do that, that whatever I did. You can play any type of minor chord on the, on the six. All I did was just play a different minor voicing on the sixth tone. And then I went to the same chord on the five, which is a B flat major add nine.
Now, what if you went major on a six? This is how it'll sound. So instead of going minor on a six, you can go major. Okay, I got B flat, F, C, and D in the left hand. And this is F, G, A, and D in my right. And all I'm doing, I'm still doing a walk down. It's just that I went further up the scale. This is stepwise motion, where you use the notes of the scale to walk up or down to a certain note within the chord progression. And in this case, we're going down to the two. So we got the B flat major nine with the added six or 13. So I got B flat, F, C, and D in the left hand, and then F, G, A, and D in the right, okay? And you can actually go three to the six. And what I did was on the three, I went minor on the, on the three. Okay? So on the three, right before I go to the major on the B flat, I play F, C, and E flat in the left hand, and then G, A flat, sorry about that, and then C and E flat in the right. And then that takes us to the sixth chord, but I just broke it up. So B flat, A, A flat, G. Like that, I'll do it a couple more times, so you can see. Okay. And then went to the four, I'm sorry, the five, with that B flat major chord, or B flat major, Add nine. So it's all up to you and how you want the chords to sound. But the idea is to understand what's happening um, on these chord progressions. So when I, when I went to the five, sometimes I might play a B flat major with an add nine over, over the five. Or if you want it to sound a little bit more open, you could just play a regular B flat major chord over A flat. And it kind of has a dominant sound. Because if you really think about this chord, even though A flat is the bass note, this is almost like playing a B flat dominant seven chord, if you know what that is. So it's like playing a dominant chord, B flat over A flat. Okay? So those are some ideas of things that you could do. Um, just going to the two, I wanted to show you some things. That's it. I wanted to keep this video short. Thanks for watching. Another Core Crush Thursday is in the book. See you on the next one. All right. So one more time.
Okay. All right. So once again, and I'll keep going a little bit further, then we're going to get out of here. Okay. Okay. So once again, going from the three to the six and then walking down to the two, sounds like this. And here's the two. And then you can go back to minor or wherever you want to go from there. So it's totally up to you. But that's it for this episode of Chord Crest Thursdays. I hope you liked it. I hope you can take some of these ideas and enhance some of the things that you already know. Some of you might have already known this. Some of you might have added some more to what you already knew. But God bless. Thanks for tuning in, watching another one. And I'll see you on the next episode.